PayPal is a stock that has been on my watch list for quite some time. However, I always felt that it was just too expensive for me. But now in the last six months, PayPal is down about 40%. So I decided to have a look at PayPal once again to see if there's a buying opportunity or not. So let's go check out what's been happening with the stock and then put them through my 18 point checklist to see how they do in terms of the fundamentals, the momentum and the growth. So looking at the stock in the last five days, you will see it's up 4.9%. But zooming out to the last six months, you will see it's down almost 40%. Zooming out to the last five years, you will see a very good run in the pandemic. Obviously, they benefited a lot from the COVID pandemic. But now you will see this very big correction as well, where they're down about 44.5%. Now, there are certainly a few very exciting things going on with PayPal at the moment, one of which is the super app they are building. So going to an article here, it says that PayPal CEO Dan Skullman thinks there are too many financial apps. So he wants to build a super app for consumers to manage payments, shopping, savings, investing, budgeting, crypto and identity all in one place. It also goes on to say that what a super app wants to do is turn all of those separate apps into a connected ecosystem where you can streamline and control data and information between those apps, between the act of shopping, the act of paying for that. And you have this common platform and common data that allows machine learning and artificial intelligence to kick in and give personalized recommendations to those consumers. So as you can see, they are working on a super app at the moment. And with this app, you'll be able to budget, you'll be able to pay, you'll be able to invest in crypto and many other things. Now, if you want to think of a super app, a good example of this is, of course, WeChat. But they are also working on something else, which is a stable coin. Looking at an article here, it says PayPal confirmed on January 8 it is exploring a stable coin that could be called PayPal coin after a developer found evidence of such a stable coin within the source code of the company's iPhone app. So as you can see, they are also working on a stable coin, which of course will tie in exactly with the super app they are building at the moment. So definitely a few very exciting things going on with PayPal and they are definitely innovating at the moment. But now let's go check out the stock overview and then put them through my 18 point checklist to see if we should be investing in this stock or not. So looking at the stock overview, you will see that the stock ticker is PYBL. They've got a market cap of 192.1 billion. Now the price for PayPal IPO was sitting at $34.69. Today it's trading at $163.52. The PE ratio is 39.31 and the net margins looking really good sitting at 20.09. So the net equity is 20 billion. That puts the equity to market cap at 10.4%, which is pretty good. That's usually our benchmark as well. Of course, they don't pay a dividend at the moment and they've got really good cash flows of 5 billion US dollars. So now that we've looked at the stock overview, let's go check out the key ratios real quick. So the debt to equity ratio looking really good, sitting at 35.98. My benchmark is usually 40% or less. The free cash flow to debt sitting at 10%. Price to sales also not looking too bad for a growth company sitting at 7.59. Price to book 8.69. The five year beta 1.15. The total shares held by the insiders 0.24%. Now the total shares held by the institutions 81.82%. The total percentage of shares shorted at the moment sitting at 1.51 and the short ratio 1.52. Now looking at the return on equity, this is looking really good. This shows you that the management is able to retain equity within the company really well. So the return on equity is 24.3%. My benchmark is usually 10%. The return on assets 3.81 and the return on invested capital also looking really good sitting at 17.74%. Once again, my benchmark is 10%. So the current ratio is 1.3. The revenue compounded annual growth over the last three years 12.29%. The operating cash flow compounded annual growth 1.95 and the free cash flow 1.79. The earnings per share have been growing by a compounded annual growth rate of 24.89%. So as you can see, the numbers are looking really good for PayPal, but they also benefited a lot from the pandemic as we can imagine. Now I want to quickly show you the year on year data. As you can see, basically everything in the green. This means that numbers are improving. But as you can see, there has been some shareholder dilution taking place as well. But looking at the net income and the free cash flow, as you can see, it has been going up year on year, except for this little bit of a slowdown on the operating cash flows and the free cash flows. So now that we've looked at the year on year data, let's put them through my 18 point checklist and see if we should be investing in the stock or not. 
Now looking at the 18 point checklist, the PE ratio is not between one and 25. The net margin is greater than 10%. The assets are greater than the liabilities. The dividend cost is less than the free cash flow and the debt to equity ratio is less than 40%. The current ratio is greater than one and unfortunately shareholders have been slightly diluted in the last three years. Now looking at the momentum questions, the revenue, the gross profit, the operating income and the net income have been going up year on year. However, the operating cash flows and the free cash flows have not been going up year on year. As we saw, there was a little bit of a slowdown. Now looking at the growth questions, the share price have definitely doubled. The return on equity and the return on invested capital is greater than 10%. The earnings per share have also been growing by a compounded annual growth rate of more than 10% over the last three years. So now I'm going to take you over to my valuation model and I used two different models, the free cash flow and the earnings per share. On the free cash flow, I used three different scenarios, a low, a median and a high. So I used a low of 20, a median of 30 and a high of 40. This gives you a low price of 78, a median of 116 and a high price of 155, which gives you an average fair value today of $116. But now looking at the earnings per share model, I used a discount rate of 10%. A bear case growth of 12%, a median of 14 and a bull case of 16. I also used a fair target PE ratio of 30, which I think is reasonable. This gives you a bear case of 142, a median of 151 and a bull case of 161, which gives you an average price today of $151. So now let's look at the verdict and see what I think about the stock. Looking at the verdict, the fundamentals is 71%, the momentum 67 and the growth 80%. Now the analyst 12 month target is $249.27, mine as you can see sitting at $151.38, which gives you a potential loss of $12 or a projected net margin of negative 7.42. But something else I want to highlight as well is the insider trading. As you can see, the insiders have been buying shares, so they are pretty bullish about their own stock. Usually when the insiders buy a stock, it means that they think that the stock will go up. Personally, I am pretty much neutral on PayPal at the moment. Even though I love the company and I think it's a great business model, I'm still not too convinced on that price. I will wait for the stock to dip a little bit more before I actually buy it. In terms of capital allocation, I feel that there are better opportunities at the moment, but I will continue to put them on my watch list and check how it goes going forward. Maybe there's a good correction and then I'll get in. But if you want to see stocks that we feel are undervalued, simply click on the link coming up in this video right now.